Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to show you how to play Assassin's Creed Ezio Collection on a Raya Jinx emulator. Now the reason I'm doing this on Raya Jinx is because I tried Yuzu but it did not work because this is a collection so it has multiple games in one game file and it will launch the other game but apparently Yuzu cannot do that but Raya Jinx can so let's get right into it. Now first of all you open Raya Jinx for the first time and it will give you the error keys not found. Now you can also see the steps in the setup guide so click on that just in case but I'm gonna click OK because I know what I'm doing. Now in here go to file and open the Raya Jinx folder. Now in here you'll have all of these folders but you want to go to system and in there you want to put your prod.keys file. Link down below and also on my discord server. Now after we've done this we're going to go to tools, install firmware and install a firmware from xci or .zip. Now we're going to click on that and find our firmware.zip file. Now the numbers here, make sure you have the latest one. So either 13.2.1 or higher. Uh, I have this one right now. So after you click open and it will start installing it. Do you want to continue? Yes. It has been installed. Nice. Okay. Now to let our games show up here, we're going to go to options and we're going to go to settings. Now right in here, game directories, so folders, we're going to go to add and we're going to find our folder. Now for me it's Yuzu games because I use this for Yuzu emulator as well. And I'm going to click add. Now that we're in the settings, we're going to go right into all the settings that you're going to need. So under input, press configure on player one. Now in here, input device for me is going to be the Xbox One S controller and everything is unbound. Uh, I do want to use a Pro Controller preset and I'm going to bind all my buttons by clicking on it and pressing the button on my controller. Now don't forget to turn on rumble if you want that and you can turn on the rumble multiplier. Uh, I'm just going to keep it on one and um, yeah if you have a PlayStation 4 controller I think those have motion so you can enable motion controls or the semi hook compatible motion so probably like a Wii U gamepad or something else. Now instead of doing this every time uh, I think it will save by itself because there's a big ass save button here <laughs> but you can make a profile so you can click on add and then profile and boom your profile is here just like that now click on save and we're going to go right into system now here you don't really have to do anything you can try expanding the dram size to six gigabytes it may cause instability so i might have to keep it off but if everything works try it uh, it might improve your performance uh, for the rest there's nothing here that you have to do now for graphics, um, if you have anything better than Intel HD or AMD Vega, which I don't think is officially supported, so keep that in mind, uh, use the 2x resolution scaler because everything will be hella sharp. Even if you have a 1080p monitor, I recommend this. Enable shader cache, always keep that enabled. Anisotropic filtering, uh, you can keep it on auto. I think that's uh, kind of fine. Graphics backend multi-threading, I'm gonna turn it on. Uh, and it does says that it has a warning. So I'm gonna click okay. And that means I have to restart Ryjinx for it to work. Now logging, if everything works, turn all of these off and it improves performance by a lot. Uh, if you have any issues with crashing, turn the ones that were on a second ago, turn them back on and then people that want to help you can see what is wrong. Click apply and save. And as you can see, our games are showing up, but I'm going to restart Ryjinx because I did the multi-threading part. So be right back. All right, so I'm launching my Ryjinx again and we're good to go. I can't really show that much gameplay, although this game is not owned by Nintendo, so I'll try to give you a little snippet to show you that it's real. Um, also, I don't have a guide on installing DLCs. This game has a lot of DLCs, so let me know in the comments down below if I should make a how to install DLCs video or update video on, well, Ryan Jinx emulator. I have one for Yuzu, but not on Riot Jinx. Let me know in the comments and uh, yeah, let me show you that it works. 
In the meanwhile, make sure to like the video, comment down below if this works for you, and subscribe. It's really appreciated and it helps me out. Now keep in mind this game uh, is pretty new-ish and it might not work perfectly, but yeah, just keep that in mind. All right, so the start screen works, I'm gonna press A. Uh, and here you can have the different games. Now I think, as you can see, it says not installed. So this is where you need the DLCs for, but Assassin's Creed 2 does work right out the box. Now again, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a video on how to install DLCs and I'll make it ASAP because obviously I put this video out. <laughs> I'm gonna select this game and as you can see, it will launch a new game, which can take a second. Don't worry about it. All right, and as you can see, we're in Assassin's Creed 2. All right, so as you can see, the game works. Some things might be tripping out, so you can wait a little longer if you want to play it without any artifacts. Um, try to change some settings. It might fix it. Comment down below if this worked for you. Oh my God, the baby. <laughs> like, subscribe, and uh, peace out, guys. Bye-bye.